people of the Valley of the Sun. So when a ball dreams, it dreams of being a disc. Why? First, uh, because the disc is cool or Frisbee is cool. I mean, think about it, what a disc does, the way it cuts through the air, the way it floats and twists and arcs and bends. And all the years I've been playing this sport, it still amazes me what a disc does. Cool. Secondly, so what is ultimate? Ultimate is probably best defined as a combination of nonstop, fast-moving, athletic endurance sports such as soccer, lacrosse, basketball, and then the aerial passing skills of football. It's played on a field similar to a football field. Uh, it's two teams with seven players on each side. And these two teams, seven players on each side on this football field, if you will, th they have an opportunity to pass the disc. And when you pass the disc and catch it, you have to stop and establish a pivot foot, just like basketball. And then when you catch the disc, you have 10 seconds to get rid of the disc. So somebody on you, marking you, a defender, counts to 10. If you don't get rid of that disc in that time, it's a turnover. And turnovers occur in this manner. If the disc goes out of bounds, it's a turnover. If it's intercepted, it's a turnover. If you drop it, it's a turnover. So in the gist of it, that's how ultimate is played. Now, ultimate is played in 50 countries around the world. It's the fastest growing sport in youth America right now. The fastest growing sport in youth America. The fields that you play on unofficially could be grass, astroturf, dirt. I've played it on all of those on a frozen lake, in snow, uh, in an indoor basketball court, an indoor track and field surface, anywhere that you can imagine Ulta can be played on a, 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 a feasible field, a prison yard. And if it should come to reveal itself, then on the moon would be epic if you could play it there. So what I think that is truly remarkable about Ultimate, outside of the fact that it's so fast paced and it's such a great spectator sport, is the fact that without question, the coolest aspect of Ultimate is the self-officiating. That means by self-officiating, there are no referees. Even at the highest level in the world, whether it's pickup, Sunday pickup at the park, or in the world games of Ultimate, it's self-officiating. That puts the responsibility of for fair play squarely on the shoulders of every individual player and not a referee. That in itself is outstanding. And in this day and age with uh, the world we live in, I think that is resounding and resonates greatly with parents and what it teaches kids, that conflict resolve. So if there are any parents or aunts and uncles or anybody that has kids or knows of kids and they're on the bubble about playing ultimate, just think about that and wrap your brain around that for a moment. Conflict resolve. So right now in the summer, they have a camp in Israel where it pits Palestinian kids and Israeli kids together on the field. Think about that for a moment, conflict resolve in this day and age. Awesome. So myself, I started playing ultimate officially in 1998. In 1998, I found the sport and it has given so much to me in my life. In 1998, since then, I've been very fortunate to have played and coached uh, at a national level. I've coached high school, college, and adult club teams. I've played and coached at a national championship tournament. And I've also been a part of, uh, of, of building the Minnesota State High School League. Since I moved to Arizona less than six months ago, I knew nobody. I have my sister that lived here. But it, within two weeks, I was dialed into the Arizona Ultimate, the Valley of the Sun Ultimate. And I brought no disc and I brought no cleats and it cost me 40 bucks to register for league, summer league. It cost me, uh, and so 40 bucks, got me, 40 bucks got me the summer league, it got me a disc and it got me a pair of used cleats that played against sports and a small price to pay for an awesome set of new friends. So if you're on the bubble about playing a sport, and 30 years old when I started playing, Ultimate is for you, it's welcoming. The culture here is welcoming nationally, regionally, internationally. It's the most welcoming sport in the world. If you're, I'm too fat or I'm too slow or I'm a nerd and I'm a geek and I've never played a sport, this is the sport for you. It's very welcoming and the scene here is amazing. V-O-T-S, VOTS.org, Valley of the Sun Ultimate. If you wanna geek out about Ultimate at the end, please come see me about geeking out.
Thank you.